What is happening there, Reject Nation? We are about to go watch the Bullet Train trailer. But before we go into any of that, thank you to the amazing sponsor, I mean it, amazing sponsor, Displate for sponsoring this video. If you don't know, Displate makes gorgeous art prints on durable metal sheets that are so easy to display and swap out. There are over one million designs in their store from original art to some of our favorite IPs like Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. And you won't need any power tools thanks to Displate's magnet-based mounting system, which takes all of about 20 seconds to install. We each got a couple of the starter collection, got the Spider-Man and Batman up on the wall up here in the studio to uphold the brand. And I just pulled this one out of the packaging I'm gonna be hanging this up somewhere in the living room. I'm gonna let the missus decide where this one goes. So if you're as jealous of that display as I am, hit our special link in the description box to save yourself 23% on your first one or two displays, or 27% if you buy three or more. Supports them, supports the channel. They'll even plant a tree for each one you buy. So really, you're supporting planet Earth. Now let's watch some YouTube. Hi, there's a gun on you. It's the quiet car. Gotta use your small inside voice in here, son. <laughs> there's a gun. Oh! Wow. Private Tyree Henry, man. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. Absolutely. Forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every mm. job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. <laughs> Lots of guns. Hey, this is nice. What am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. Doesn't get simpler. Sure. Bad bunny. <laughs> you stab me? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you! <laughs> There's nothing simple about this job. <laughs> Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. <laughs> hey, Where's the briefcase? I was such a Taylor Johnson. It was just there. <laughs> we are right on the I love the cast. Yeah. Ever to you. Stack. This is gonna Sassy sting. Bates. This. Oh. I'll let you hear. Ooh. Fate. That's a shit deal. <laughs> oh, no, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have um, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Domo arigato. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 there we go. If you're gonna do a movie called Bullet Train, there better be a moment where they're hanging off <laughs> of the bullet train. It's the only thing you need. That's just one epic ass ensemble right there. David Leach, my man. This is why that Brad Pitt cameo happened in Deadpool 2. <laughs> to produce this one specific movie. I'll do your movie if you let me show up in a Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, man, we got Brad Pitt in here. We got Aaron Taylor Johnson. We got Hiroyuki Sonata from Mortal Kombat and freaking The Wolverine, which was like the first movie that always comes to mind for me when I think of a bullet train is the Wolverine Absolutely. movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you got Hiro Kusanada, you got freaking Brian Tyree Henry. Joey King is in here. Joey all King, sorts of he's a great here. actress, he fantastic is. actress. Joey also King. being British here. You got Logan Lerman, who looks like they show him die in the trailer, yeah. which was kind of a surprise. Zazie Beats, Michael Shannon, the guy from Warrior, Andrew Koji. Andrew Koji. Andrew, yeah, Andrew Koji. Bullock is in there. Is she? I didn't see her. Did she's, you see her? I think she's over the phone, yeah. She's 
playing the role that Lady Gaga was originally going to play. Oh, yeah. This is John's most anticipated movie. He That's right, man. everything about this film. That's right, like, I gotta know man. everything that happens in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Marie Beetle, let's do this. Yeah. Based on a book. All right. And actually, something I was surprised to learn, um, someone who I was uh, part of the bridal party for recently, Hi. Andrea Minos, I was looking on IMDb this morning. I'm like, oh, crap, she's in this movie. So, so you got that hey. inside track. <laughs> yeah. You got all the secrets. I am going to go ask her, like, tell me every detail that happened in this film. It was like working with Brad Pitt. Yeah, so it's like five assassins aboard a train all looking for this one briefcase while they have to battle it out on a bullet train. Yeah, I don't know the novel whatsoever other than that little brief description. What we're getting here is awesome because this feels different for David Leach. Like, it seems like he's been going down, like, action comedy route way more. It's like to debut alongside Chad Stahelski for the John Wick movies with the direction he's gone with, like, Fast and Furious, like Hobbs and Shaw, Hobbs Deadpool <laughs> 2. And now to see him pulling off this movie right here, it's just, like such a pure action comedy. And I actually love to see it. In a day and age with so much Marvel and DC, <laughs> it's nice to get an original IP, you know? To see this. Exactly, my boy. <laughs> exactly. Five men riding like a bullet train. <laughs> yeah, but this looks fun, man. It's got like a Quentin Tarantino, Guy Ritchie type of vibe. More Guy Ritchie, I'd say, than Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, this excites me because it, it does look like kind of a nice blend of David Leach isms Like you have a certain comedic edge, but it looks maybe a little more soaked in that neon vibe that like an atomic blonde might bring. The perfect next step, I feel like. Certain point, he's going to have to start stretching his legs and really surprising us. With a slow moving <laughs> indie drama. Yeah, with no action whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. The action is the dialogue. And it's in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Square aspect ratio, which is the exact <laughs> farthest from this as you can get. Now, this looks like a, a really fun time, but also like the action and just like the, the punch behind the camera is going to be so involved. Like, I feel like we've talked about the David Lynch and Chad Stahelski movies. Which are all Lynch, by the way. David Lynch. <laughs> Yeah. Bullet train. It's it's six thirty in the morning. Ass David, action movie. David, <laughs> David Leach. They're close. Yeah. David Leach. But yeah, like because you know Chad Stahelski has pretty much just done John Wick, and David Leach has gone off and yeah done more and more you know sort of heightened action comedies. This looks kind of like the right mid level for him to get like you know some of that John Wick bone crunch back without sacrificing the fun that we know he's capable of and the style and yeah. the you know visual flair he's able to bring behind the camera. Well, I like seeing like a lot of the wacky characters here like Aaron Taylor Johnson just having such a fun time I, feel, I still feel like he's such an underrated actor I think he's <laughs> truly a gem <laughs> so to see him here I'm excited to see him bounce off of Brad Pitt it's pretty much just going to be a movie where you're watching the legendary Oscar winning Brad Pitt have fun bouncing off of a bunch of amazingly talented actors as well mm -hmm. so I think that's part of the joy to behold here I want to get a better taste of the action because that's the part where David Leach can be kind of interesting to me about sometimes it seems like he's really getting down the comedy. He did Atomic Blonde, right? That yep. was the one he did. That's like the, the action at Atomic Blonde was awesome. Then with Deadpool 2, uh, while, while the action was really cool, and the same thing with, you know, Hobbs and Shaw, weirdly, I still felt like it was missing some of, like, oh, that David Leach flair, where I feel like we're getting a lot more of it here, though. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know? Like, the tangibility of the fights that especially yeah. something like Atomic Blonde brought that you didn't get in a Deadpool or in a, a Hobbs and Shaw, yeah. Yeah, and I like seeing Brad Pitt just having just after winning an Oscar doing a role where he just seems like he's having where, so much fun. Where he's, yeah, the coolest <laughs> stuntman ever, and apparently in this he really wanted to do as many of the stunts and fights as he possibly could, so, you know. Again, he, John's most anticipated right, movie man, right he's here. He's doing the Keanu Reeves thing. Yeah. He's throwing it down. <laughs> but I like the approach of, like, he seems like he's really got a good grip on the tone, because it seems like yeah. this is such a specific tone. Like, a dude who who is a professional, but he also just wants to be a normal guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like, yeah. I like that style, as opposposed to just normal guy who's caught up in the situation way over his head. Yeah, it's charming. He's got a certain optimism. I'll say the thumbnails and images they released made this seem like it was going to be some, like, harrowing ass yeah, serious yeah, movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is like really shot. funny. Yeah. Oh, this looks Brad Pitt looking dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what did you think about this trailer? Please leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that bell. Thank you to Display for helping us sponsor this video. We will catch you all soon. <laughs>